All right, so last night, Jimmy Butler got traded for Zach Levine, Chris Dunn, and the number seven pick. Uh, that uh, seventh pick ended up being Lori Markinen. So, in today's video, Zach Levine Bulls rebuilding video, earlier today put out the Jimmy Butler Timberwolves rebuild. Now we are just flipping the roles and doing the other side of the trade. Zach Levine Bulls rebuilding video. Let's get right on into it. I'm wasting no time. I'm not bringing back Dwayne Wade. I think he has a player option. Uh, pretty sure he does. Uh, yeah, um, if he accepts that, I'm just going to let him walk in free agency because I think in real life they're either going to uh, agree to a buyout or he's just going to decline it because I've heard some insiders say that like he's just going to decline it. So hopefully that happens because uh, I don't want to bring him back in his $23 million. No, thank you. All right, breaking news. The Chicago Bulls and Dwayne Wade have agreed to a buyout okay there we go yeah i just dude i did not want him on the team i really didn't he accepted it and it might happen in real life that's a realistic thing for them to do so you know what i said why not so now this team is actually looking like a pile of garbage um yeah not really looking too hot all right so i'm here at the start of the first season really we didn't do a whole lot of free agency other than sign bobon and tyreek evans and ian clark that's pretty much our big three free agency signings i've decided to roll forward with Lori markinen and bobby portis so that means nikola miritich is gone i signed boban so i don't need robin lopez anymore and that's just you know large contract no thanks so if we can just get a draft pick that's all i want i just want a draft pick i don't care who it's from i just want a draft pick and no one's giving me a draft pick awesome okay um let's go to the nets all right because i love pick actually you know what i want to pick in this year's draft so let's go to the hawks Let's get their first round pick this year. Why? I don't know. It's, I just, I just, I just really want their pick. All right, 13 players on the team. Uh, Pierre Jackson. You know, I could, I could probably get another pick. I could probably get another pick from them. Maybe, possibly. Uh, swap worse. No, that's not happening. Hell no. Okay, so let's get rid of Plumley and just give me your pick this year. And all is well. Ian Clark for Bellinelli. Um, you know what? Why not? Why not? We get the Hawks pick. We need it. We we got rid of him. Uh, who's him? I don't know who, who what him. I'm talking about Robin Lopez. Uh, we did go ahead and get rid of him. Now Bellinelli. If I could just trade him right back to the Hawks for Ian Clark, that would just be honestly kind of funny. Uh, hopefully we can do that. And okay, cool. I'll just give you a second round pick. And I'll give you a 20. Okay, just kidding. Okay, so we cannot get Ian Clark back. That's fine though. No big deal. No one else is really making too much money on this team other than Tyreek. Sign him to uh, 17 mil. So this is what our team looks like here. Start of the first season. Pierre Jackson is our starting point guard. Oh, boy. This should be a fun season. Uh, Pierre Jackson, Zach Levine, Tyreek Evans, Bobby Portis, and Boban. Hopefully, Boban averages like a double-double, man. That'd be lit. Laurie Markkinen, Cristiano Felicio, Marco Bellinelli, Cameron Payne, and Denzel Valentine will be the... We got Doc. We got... Okay. All right. All right. Well, hey, we got Doc Rivers. Okay, so um yeah i'm just i'm just really trying to tank really just trying to tank because i don't want to do well at all can we just lose our first game to d'angelo and then okay we can't lose that. okay that's cool russell westbrook averages a triple double for the second straight season and wins the mvp award for what probably will be the second straight season lonzo ball rookie of the year on the lakers 17 points 10 assists six and a half boards two and a half steals and almost one block a game Jamie Lynn, sixth man of the year. DeAndre Jordan, defensive player of the year. Chris Dunn, most improved player. And Logan White, coach of the year, as the Clippers go 59 and 23. Good enough for second in the conference. So, obviously, you know, we kind of did bad. Uh, 29 and 53, 13th in the conference. I like that a lot. Uh, let's check the Kings, though, because we also have their pick, which uh, could be very important because if they suck, uh, okay, 36 and 46. So, we're not going to get a great pick out of them, but. We were only, what, two games behind the Hawks for second worst in the East. So um, I do like our chances when it comes to getting a good pick. Hopefully we get somewhat of a good pick. And let's see what happens here in the playoffs as the Nets make the playoffs led by D'Angelo Russell. And it will be the Milwaukee Bucks taking the Golden State Warriors to seven games. But the Warriors prevail, winning their second straight championship. This time, Steph Curry wins the finals MVP. All right, so this is where we stand. I totally forgot that we got the Hawks pick. So um, we have the fourth and fifth best odds and then the 12th best odds. Probably not gonna, gonna uh, get anything when it comes to the 12th best odds, but uh, the Timberwolves, oh, are you kidding me? The Timberwolves just moved into the top three. 
Oh my god, dude. Are you serious, man? Did the Timberwolves just get the number one pick? Okay, they got the third pick. So you're telling me the Timberwolves fleece the Bulls of Jimmy Butler and then they get the third pick. Okay, we get the fifth and sixth pick and the uh, 13th pick. Okay, um, I don't like that at all, but it's fine. It is what it is. Uh, hopefully, we can just make the best out of the situation and hopefully maybe just trade our draft picks for a proven player already. All right, so the Heat have the first pick, and I kind of want the first pick. So 5, 6, and 13 for the first pick. Maybe it'll work. Uh, maybe, probably. Yeah, yeah, it will. You guys might say I'm stupid for that, but I really want Michael Porter Jr. All right, I really do. So we will be selecting him with the first pick in the draft unless, like, there's a prospect that I'm just totally forgetting about and who I should honestly take no matter what. 15 trade offers for the number one pick. Let's see... What is here? Jay Crowder and Al Horford. Hell no. Mike Conley, Dennis Schroeder, Drogic, and Deion Waiters. No. Ooh, De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox and Rudy Gay. That's tempting, but no. Um, yeah, nothing really too great. Uh, Draymond. Okay. Um, yeah, no. Definitely not doing that. Never mind. We are going to go with Luka Doncic here with the first pick in the draft. I just figured out how to say his name. I went on a uh, pronunciation website. Figured out how to say his name, but welcome to the team. 76 overall. Michael Porter is to say a, a, a 77, but I would much rather have him and Levine paired up in the backcourt. So, Luka Doncic, welcome to the Chicago Bulls. And the in-game Phil Jackson is not really understanding what he's doing. Giving me the 12th pick and Willie Hernan Gomez for Tyreek Evans in a 2021 second round pick. So, I will be happy to take that trade. So, now let's just simulate to the next user pick. Now we have the 12th pick. Hopefully, we can get someone good there. With the 12th pick of the draft, we will be selecting DeAndre Ayton, uh, seven foot center out of Arizona, 76 overall. I mean, I'll take it. I think he's the highest rated dude here. So I will definitely take that. DeAndre Ayton, welcome to the Chicago Bulls. He is now going to be our star center. Um, this, this is who the Heat took with their picks. They took uh, Isaac Bonga, Wendell Carter Jr and they have the pick right after us but i don't really care about them so let's simulate to the end of the draft let's go to free agency let's try to bring some guys in to help us make the playoffs in season number two. Oh, demarcus cousins oh okay um wasn't expecting that um okay demarcus cousins i tried to get pg he's going back to the pacers okay whatever um yeah i was offering d'angelo russell a max and then Marcus Cousins comes out of nowhere. He's like, yo, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and just sign with the Bulls. Why not? Okay. Can we still get D'Angelo? Damn it, we can still get D'Angelo. Okay. This opens up a lot of possibilities for me. You know what? I'm going to go after Joel Embiid too. Because wh why? You know what? Because I can. And we're, okay, we're no, nowhere close. But hey, it's fine. Um, This changes a lot of things. The fact that we get DeMarcus Cousins? DeMarcus Cousins. You know what? Yeah, let me go ahead and throw a friggin' offer at D'Angelo Russell, a max contract. And guess what? After that, we're still going to have money to sign other guys. Why is he still here? No, please don't go to the Spurs. Please don't. Please do not go to the Spurs. Don't go to the Spurs. What? No, 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 no. Are we actually about to get Joel Embiid? And okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm done. I'm walking out. So obviously, um, shit just got real. Like Joel Embiid. Okay, I would much rather have you over D'Angelo. I mean, like, no offense, D'Angelo, but like, Joel's a better player than you. Okay, Nets, go ahead and do that. Wow, that scared me for a second. I thought that was the Sixers. We just got Joel Embiid, and I don't feel bad about it at all. So Dwayne Wade. Oh, we could get him for 11 mil. I'm not. No, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Melo wants 33 mil. That's actually funny. Um, yeah, that just happened. That just happened. Who's playing power forward? Who's playing power forward? One of you guys are playing power forward. You're going to be a 93. You'll be a 91. Who do I want in the middle? That's the question. I think I want Joel Embiid out there. So, um, yeah, I don't need all these centers anymore. I don't need Willie Her Hernan Gomez. I don't need Boban. Okay. All right. That's just, yeah. Cool. What the hell? So, I do not need Bobby Portis, and I do not need Willie Hernan Gomez, and I don't really need my 2022 draft pick. So, Rhonda Hollis Jefferson, Spencer Dinwiddie, welcome to the Chicago Bulls. Okay, 
So far, so good right now in Season 2. Um, okay, I want Levine starting. That's, like, my only thing that I want. I want Levine being the point guard. That's just what I want. Him and uh, Doncic in the backcourt is going to be really nice. Ronnie Hollis Jefferson is good at defense. I, at least I'm pretty sure he is. If he's not, then I look like an idiot. Yeah, B, perimeter defense, and then in beating Cousins in the front court. So I will take that every single day of the week, 24-7. Um, I don't want Spencer Dinwiddie there, but actually, yeah, no, no, no. I do not want him there. Instead, let's have uh, Denzel Valentine there getting eight minutes. Let's just move that down a little bit. There we go. Now everything is looking good. Um, I'm just going to keep Boban, Bo Boban on the team because it's Boban. So there we go. That's the team. Levine, Doncic, Rondé, Rondé Hollis, Jefferson, Joel Embiid, DeMarcus Cousins, Yogi Ferrell, Shabazz Muhammad, Lori Markkinen, DeAndre Ayton, and De Denzel Valentine. Like, yes, yes. I, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Let's just make the playoffs. That's all I want. I just want them. Marquise Chris and Brooke Lopez. Man, no, no, no. Never have. Whoa, 131. 131 points. I like this team already. Let's win the damn championship. And Giannis Antetokounmpo wins the MVP award here at the end of season two. 23 points, nine rebounds, seven assists, three steals, and almost two blocks a game. Michael Porter Jr., rookie of the year on the Boston Celtics. Jeremy Lin, sixth man of the year. Andre Drummond, defensive player of the year. Chris Stapps, most improved player. So in this season, he didn't get traded. I mean, he's probably going to end up getting traded in real life because Phil Jackson doesn't know what the hell he's doing. John Smith, coach of the year, coach of the Rockets. Enough with all these awards. All right, let's... Oh, yo, Giannis. Giannis. Yeah, okay, next trade. Anyway, 45 and 37. We made the playoffs. Fifth seed in the East. I'll take it. Let's just take a look at the stats on the year. We were led by Boogie and Joel Embiid. That's like, duh, of course. DeAndre Ayton is just her day-to-day. -day, no big deal. Um, I am definitely excited for the playoffs. Um, let's see what happens here. We're taking on the Raptors. I don't know if we can beat the Raptors, but... Uh, I'm still excited. Yo, yo. Ooh, Jimmy Butler and Carl Anthony Towns are hurt. Okay. Uh, Raptors. Ooh, Lowry's hurt. Okay, well, we're good. We're good then. If Lowry is hurt, we are fine. At least I'd hope so. Okay. Win game one. Can we just... Okay, cool 2-0. Oh, can we just, you know... Uh, no? Okay. Okay. Uh, but as long as we don't blow a 3-1 lead. Okay. There we go. Life is great. Now we're taking on the Washington Wizards. Uh, I don't know why they are always so good in 2K. I don't really understand why. But... They got John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter. They didn't really add anyone. They added Andrew Harrison, uh, Justin Hamilton, and that's about it. So as long as we can keep... Okay, we lose game one by, uh, what, 23 points? As long as we can keep John Wall and Bradley Beal in check, uh, we're fine. But we're going to the Eastern Conference Finals, right? Yes, we are. Of course we are. Of course it's the Pacers. Of course. Of course it's Paul George and the Pacers. Of course. My... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, Levine. You cannot be hurt one to two weeks, my dude. All right. Pacers, of course. Of course it's Paul George who signed a five-year, $168 million deal. You know, of course, man. All right. Um, Why did we sign Rondo? Oh, my God. Anyway, take it on the Pacers in the Easter Conference Finals. I swear, dude, if they beat us, if they beat us, I'm going to be really salty. I'm actually going to be really salty. 3-2. Let's make it 3-3 because I like three threes in a... What what is happening right now? What is what is okay? All right, so can't tie it up. Pacers make it to the finals. I don't really understand how, but they don't win the championship. Rockets do. James Harden, Finals MVP. We will win the championship next year. I guarantee it. So before we get to free agency, I'm just trying to clear up just a little bit of cap space before we enter. So Shabazz Muhammad for Trevor Ariza, and they are uh, also giving us the 30th pick. So I will definitely take that. More assets for us. Uh, the more the better. So. Where is he at? Okay, Trevor Reza, I don't want you here at all. And you're wearing number one, so Bulls fans would actually, like, have a fit. Um, $11, $11 million for Mo Harkless. Okay, uh, to the Thunder for a lottery-protected pick. I think I might just have to do that, or the Jazz for a top-five-protected pick. I like that just a little bit more. And we have the 20th and 30th picks in this year's draft. I don't want either one of them. So maybe we could trade him for a nice player. Probably not. Most likely not. Okay, so we're just going to simulate past this. We're going to go to free agency. We're going to sign some good players with our $13 million in cap. Yeah, we're probably not getting anyone. The only players we're going to get is on the uh, mid-level exception. So Marcus Salt wanted to come here on a uh, cheap deal to win a championship because, uh, yeah, play for a winner, extremely important. He just came here for four years, $20 million. Look at the other two offers he was getting. 
We just got to steal in Marcus Gasol. I know you're like, yo, you have Joel Embiid, you have Boogie. I don't care. Marcus Gasol, backup center. I will take that every single day of the week. 24-9, dude. Are you kidding me? All right. Marcus Gasol, welcome back. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. You know what? You can go to the Pelicans all you want. I will decline that, and I'll sign Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Yeah, man, you go to the Pelicans. I don't care. Um, now let's try to get some more old guys that want to win. Oh, okay, Chris Bosh. I thought maybe you'd want to win a championship. Um, next video, he will not be here, though, because, like, in real life, I'm pretty sure he's going to retire. What do we even need? I don't even know what we need, to be honest. Uh, we don't have bird rights on anyone, so let's just go out and get... Oh, boy. I have no idea what we need. We have, what, three point guards, two shooting guards, two small forwards, two power forwards, three centers. All right, all right. I'm going to go out and get a small forward because that's what I feel like doing right now. Marcus Morris, no. Tyreek, no. What about CJ Miles? There we go. CJ Miles on the minimum. Let's go ahead and do that. Sign him, and we are good. Let's go on to season three. Let's win ourselves the NBA championship. So this is what the team looks like here at the start of season number three. Levine, Doncic, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, Joel Embiid, and Boogie. I did go ahead and make Marcus Gasol a power forward because we had DeAndre Ayton, so there's no point in like having them both play center off the bench. Really makes no sense. Chris Dunn, Laurie Markkinen, and Denzel Valentine. I like this team a lot. Let's go win ourselves a championship. Actually, I don't think we can win a championship, but you know it's 2K, so anything's really possible, and I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't even make the playoffs. And Chris Paul wins the MVP award. Uh, 20 points, 13 assists with almost four steals a game. Yo, Chris Paul doing that at 34. Okay, uh, Chris Paul, MVP. RJ Barrett, Rookie of the Year. He is on the Memphis Grizzlies. Marcus Gasol, Sixth Man of the Year. I mean, like, duh. Anthony Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Michael Porter Jr., Most Improved Player. And John Smith, Coach of the Rockets, Coach of the Year. So we finished as the second best team in the Eastern Conference, 50 and 32, taking on the Cavs in the first round. Like, we're taking on the Cavs in the first round. Oh, wait, they don't have Kevin Love. That's why. Oh, no, Kevin Love's just hurt two to four weeks. All right. So, um, I would say I like our chances only because they have no one to, you know, deal with both Boogie and Embiid. Like, yeah, Thompson can deal with Boogie. But then who's going to deal with Embiid? Patrick Patterson? I mean, like, come on, no. That's obviously not going to happen. So we should win this series easily, but they have LeBron, and 2K loves LeBron in this game, so I wouldn't be surprised if we lost. But we swept them, so I don't know what I was worried about. Now let's get on. The Washington Wizards and the Celtics just took a huge fat L in the first round. The Warriors were the, were the eight seed. Warriors are the eight seed. Why? Why are they the eight seed? I don't understand why they're the eight seed. Did, like, everyone just get hurt or something? Dislocated left patella. And spinal injury. Okay, so that makes sense as to why they're the 8th seed. All right. Um, now we're taking on the Wizards. Probably should have just looked at their roster right there. But, uh, yeah, same team. They didn't They didn't really add anyone. Pretty sure we played them last season. They did not really add anyone. So we should beat them, right? I mean, like, it makes sense. Of course we lose game one. Of course we lose game two. But we're going to come back. I No, no, that's not. This is, this is, this is not allowed to happen. We are supposed to win this. We're supposed to win the NBA championship. That's how things are supposed to go around here. Going to a game seven at home. Life is good. Winner faces the Raptors. Um, can we just win, please? Like, please, can we just win this? Can we pull it out? That's what she said. Okay, cool. Wow. We win. Not really surprised. Actually, yeah, I uh, kind of uh, am surprised. So, ooh, out west is Rockets and Lakers. Out east it is Bulls and Raptors. Who do the Raptors have on their team? Pretty sure that they are the eight seed. Uh, Raptors, Lowry's hurt. He's got a twisted left knee and a bruised right hip. Nothing else too insane on this team. So I fully expect us to be playing in the NBA. How do these teams keep winning game? How do you win game two? Come on, bro. Listen, four straight, no. No, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. I don't want to lose to the Raptors. Out of all teams, I do not want to lose to the Raptors. I don't want to lose to the Raptors at all. I do not want to lose to the Raptors. Four-point game. I'm going to jump in. I'm probably going to choke, but I don't want to lose to the Raptors. I want to make it to the, to the NBA Finals. So we are down by six. Uh, 2K had the whole, like, substitution thing messed up, and Chris Dunn was at point guard, so I was, like, really confused about that. But, hey, I mean, okay, that was such a bad shot. I don't know why. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Doncic is a beast. Okay, Three-point game. Um, let's just play some defense. Let's clamp up. Let's play ourselves some defense. Kyle Lowry's going to try to shake and bake me. That's not going to happen. They're going to try to give it to DeMar to Frozen. Yeah, even though he's probably just going to cook me now. Honestly, probably. Why are you Embiid? What? Oh, man. 
Honestly, what I'm thinking about here is just a pick and roll. That makes uh, the most sense to me right now. Just a pick and roll and then just have Embiid cut to the basket. Or just have Embiid... Okay, what is happening? Embiid, what are you doing? Okay, just back down Surge in the post then. Just back down Surge in the post. Do that. Don't do that. I don't know what I'm doing. Actually, okay, you know what? We're just going to shoot it with Doncic. That was the worst shot I could have taken in that situation. Um, I panicked there because I couldn't get it to Joel Embiid. And DeRozan's going to make that because that makes a ton of sense. Seven-point game, a minute ten left. If I come back from this, I deserve to win the series. Like, that's all I'm saying. Let's run a pit. Actually, Chris Dunn to the basket. Yes, please. Chris Dunn to the basket. Okay. 12 points for Chris Dunn. I'm going to try to get a steal. Oh, okay. That was close. That was close to get a steal. Lowry, you, you are not going to cook me. Lowry's not going to cook me. You're getting blocked. You're not coming in this paint and expecting to come out alive. Joel Embiid, just dunk it all over everyone. Two and a slam. Okay. Three point game now. We got to play some clamps. We have got to play some clamps and just get out. Good. Oh. Why is Ibaka open for three? Why is Ibaka open for three? Now it's a six-point game. Now I'm kind of stressing. Just a little bit, not too much. Uh, Embiid, 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 and one. Oh, that would have been so nice, Embiid. All right, so we have our three-point lineup in the game right now. Oh, wait, Boogie's, Boogie's just chilling under, underneath the paint. Okay, I will take that. Um, I don't know why Doncic is not in the game. I don't under... Oh, no, 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 no. That was so close to being... Um, whatever that was. A steal. Okay. Full court press. We're going to do this now. Um, except I want, I want, uh, Doncic in the game. I totally want Doncic in the game. I'm trying to get a steal. Foul him as quick as we can. This is turning, this is turning into the free throw game, man. All right. We need a three. Doncic to the rescue. Set me a screen. Hurry. Please hurry. Please hurry. Doncic from way downtown. Oh, come on. That was in the basket. Oh, man. All right. We lose. Man, I thought that was going in. That makes me just a little bit upset. We end up losing by eight. Um, they shot 40. Okay, well, we shot 44 free throws. But, um, yeah, they made 15 threes. Lowry, 11 of 11 from the line. Joel Embiid with 26. Doncic with 25. Boogie, 22 and 10. You know what? Maybe if we had one more year. Maybe if we had one more year, we would win it. But, you know, you know what? It's it's fine. I'm not mad. At least we made it to the playoffs. At least we were within, what, two games of making the NBA Finals. So, the 18 Raptors are taking on the Rockets, and they get swept. James Hart. Wh what? Greg Monroe Finals MVP? No, okay. This game is broken, dog. Like, I swear. James Harden was hurt, so Greg Monroe wins the finals MVP. Okay, I do not understand this game at all, but this is what our final team ended up looking like. DeMarcus Cousins, Joel Embiid, Marcus Salt, Zach Levine, DeAndre Ayton, Luka Doncic, Laurie Markkinen, Rondé Hollis-Jefferson, Chris Dunn, Denzel Valentine, Yogi Ferrell, Darius Garland, and CJ Miles. Make sure to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe if you guys are new. Make sure to comment down below what other rebuilds you guys want to see from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.